everyone, so welcome to my studio tour. Alrighty then, so my studio is actually in the attic and it was an attic apartment for before we moved in and we've just kind of converted it. Now something to keep in mind is that it was built a little quirky and so we're having to work around the little quirks. And two, we're not completely done with it. We started uh, renovating it in, let's see, July of 2016. And I, I was so eager after moving and everything to get back to work that we just, we got it to where I could work in it and we moved in. So we still need to complete the bathroom and we need to complete the trim work. So there's a lot of trim work needs to be done, but most of it's hidden at the moment. So as soon as I get a few minutes to work on trim, that's what I'm going to do. But we've decided that, you know what, go ahead with a little tour because who knows when the trim stuff's gonna happen. It's been over a year already. All right guys, so let's take a look. All right, so when I first walk into my room, I have all of my shelving units right here to the right, my big ones from the Costco and Sam's type stores. I have my fragrance oils, some molds, colors, lye, etc. And everything is fairly slim at the moment because I'm very low on supplies as I um, did a mad rush to get everything made for the winter season. So I keep all my uh, cutting equipment up there. Now this is what I have left of my winter release. There's still a lot left and it's all on sale right now. So that's good news. Have some of the wax melt samplers. Have of these super cute snowflake wax melts. Um, clam shells. Have natural soaps hiding back in here. We just have varying levels of product remaining and everything's on sale. We're hoping to get it gone before the end of the year. I'll take a quick spin around here so you can see. This is the door to come in from. And that's the bathroom. We still have to work on it so that's why there's no white door or anything. I keep this super awesome um, stainless steel shelf here, countertop I guess I should say too. I love it. This is usually completely full of soaping oils, but yeah, like I said, time to make some big purchases. So this is where I do most of my work, and it is very clean at the moment. It doesn't look like this a whole lot. Usually I have dishes to wash, projects going. Just a super cute area. I love working here. All the cabinets are painted. I spin you around here. So I have my microwave and there's my soaping, um, my curing racks. So this is, these soaps are coming up very, very soon. I have Cherry Kiss. This is 1900 Magnolia, which is was formerly um, Southern Charm. We have a new batch of Sweet Me and Patchouli Rain. Amelia Island, Princess Kisses. Figgy Cream has a little bit of a new do. Confetti Blossom. And then down here, they still have to be cleaned up, but I have some barbershop salt bars and 1900 magnolia salt bars. So that's all quite exciting. These are all palm free. I've decided to go palm free. Most of my holiday soaps are palm free, but they are a mix at the moment. But all the new soaps coming in are gonna be palm free. So I have a dehumidifier, and we have a monitor there for a security system. That way I can keep an eye on things up here. This is where I make my wax melts. The table is quite, uh, yeah, stained at, the, at this point in the game. So we just have an extra little table that we work on right now. We have our tissue paper, 
all spread out in our ribbon. So here we have a look back that direction. This is my label cabinet. I have a lot of labels, a lot of label sheets. Uh, we have these cute little baskets for pulling orders. I have several to pack this morning. That's why I needed to get the tour done. And then this is where I do all the main packing of the orders. Alrighty, so it's order packing time. And I have these cutesy little baskets. Not enough, but I have a couple of them. And it's kind of fun. It's like a little, a little shopping basket. But I need to look this over. This one's going to Canada. So I'm going to see if I can just fit it in one of my regular boxes. It looks like it. So I don't usually have bubble wrap in these boxes anymore but because this one's going to Canada. I'm going to grab some. This one is going to have a little longer journey. Give a little extra protection. I have my snowflake paper and some red satin ribbon. I think you're seeing this okay. So let's see what I need to put into this one. We need have a bayberry soap and a peppermint salt soap. So this one needs a ribbon around it. I I didn't get that done before my release went live. So I'm just kind of just tying the little ribbon as I go. Doesn't take a whole lot of time out of my packaging. So this time I have my husband is, oh my goodness, he has helped so much. I don't even think I could have even been remotely ready without his help. So I am really appreciative of his help. And anyway, he's been pulling all of my, this is a we have a Holly Jolly soap. This camera feels like it's a million miles away. But we have a Holly Jolly soap. And I like to wrap it in a little bit of bubble wrap to protect the berries. Where's my tape? I had to reorganize just a bit to make room for the tripod. We have a, look at that. I did that completely wrong and didn't even notice. Goodness, goodness gracious. There we go. I think we should do it several times. That, that's so efficient. All right, back in with that. And let's see, Bayberry, where do you get to go? We're gonna let you hang out right there for the moment. And the Holly Jolly soap is gonna go in. We have a sleigh ride scented wax melt looking Beautiful, smells amazing. But we have two of these Plum Crazy Light Scented Wax Melts. So, I need to reorganize here just a bit like. So that, let's see. So that they go in nicely. Let's see, let's put him right there. I'm not loving this. I'm not loving it. Let me think. This pretty much has to go in this box, otherwise the shipping will increase very uh, dramatically. So I'm going to put it like that, put the two in there. I'm going to put them back to back and grab some bubble wrap. I'm just wrapping a little bit of bubble wrap around them just to give them a little extra protection and then I'm going to put some shred. I've got some red and some craft and some iridescent. I'm going to slide this over and then he's just going to go on the edge like so. That looks like a safe package to Canada. So let's let's give this a uh, list of gander. I've got my packing slip here. I'm going to Check it off. Two plum crazy lights. Check. 
uh, peppermint sea salt soap, check. Bayberry soap, check. Sleigh ride scented wax melt, check. And a holly jolly soap, check, check. Okay. So this particular customer did ask me to um, make a uh, packaging video. So she, I'm sure she knows who she is based on her order, but this uh, packing slip's gonna be a little wonky as well. I'm gonna write my little thank you note. So I'm gonna grab some goodies to stick in. Let's give us a little, we're getting a little tight there, so we could instead I'm going to add just a smidgen more bubble wrap. So we don't really want that to be injured. And we have that's too thick. Do it like that. Put in my little soap gift, a little wax melt sample, the note, and my little card for this year. I love these little boxes. They're nine by six by three, and I just get them on Amazon. I was ordering them from Paper Mart, but the shipping was so extravagant. I was ordering, you know, a similar box. But the shipping was just so, you know, just bad coming from California. And I looked at Uline, and the boxes were just ridiculous. So I found these people on Amazon. And since we have Prime, it's been going much better. So I'm going to... I have a little tag that I'm using for the top, so I will write that out. I have a little sticker that says, Be Thankful in All Seasons, that I'm using to adhere it. I'll just tuck that in like there. I have my little owl sticker. We'll just tuck that bubble wrap around. Everybody's just snug as a bug in a rug here. Then I usually grab my tape dispenser and smack those corners down so they'll slide in the package. It does get a little bit tight on these ones, but I've gotten used to them. I twist my wrist on occasion, but I get her done. So since this is going to Canada, I will give it a little extra taste. I usually do this. I like to tuck the edges all in nice. There's nothing extra out for things to snag, but there's a little bit of uh, ripplies there. And so what I like to do, especially when it's going to Canada or international, I just give it extra tape. It may feel like Fort Knox getting into it, but it's more important that it actually gets there without being all torn up. So this one's three pounds and I will have to fill out all the custom information for it. And I'll grab another. All right, so this order has a winter scented wax mint sampler and a luscious snowflake set. And the two of them together actually have to go in a pretty big box. So I'm gonna go get a regional B. I'm going to put in the sampler there and the snowflake wax melt set over here. I'm going to add in 
some of my shred. Make sure everybody's nice and snug. We don't want them wobbling around while they're in transit and getting beat up. Everyone's in a hurry. They're processing a lot of packages this time of year. I've already had one small package be completely obliterated, as in just obliterated. And the soap inside was in crumbles. It was a salt soap, so it would tend to crumble a little bit more. And we got them all hooked up. Another one's going out today. So, because they ordered a wax melt sampler, I have a special wax melt that I'm sending out called Old Fashioned Holiday. They're getting a hot cocoa. The Canadian one didn't get a hot cocoa because I do not send food to Canada or International. And then I have my soap gift. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more shred in there. It seems a little, seems just a little bit puny. And there we go. I'm going to put in my note. Like so. And a little, my business card for the holiday season. I am not the best bow maker, but it's the thought that counts, I think. So, there we go. With a, a cute little bow. I'm going to write out my tag. This package is going to Pennsylvania. We're going to tuck our bubble wrap in. That needs a little extra help. If we don't make sure that this isn't going to collapse inside, then it's likely to collapse inside because we may have this well-packed little box, but there could be a really heavy, really big one coming along behind or being thrown on top. And we just, we don't want to give it any extra room to cave in. All right, so this one weighs four pounds is what we're going with. All right, I'll do one more. All right, so this order can safely go in a padded mailer without a box as long as, whoa, that's crooked. I'm going to change that out. As long as I give it plenty of bubble wrap. So this one has a crushed peppermint scented wax melt clamshell, a gingerbread, and a buttered pumpkin pecan waffles. This was with my fall release, but I was asked to bring it back, so I poured as many as I could until... I couldn't pour any more. I was out. So, let me look at this. We gotta go get some goodies. Alright, so this one is going to get just a plum crazy little overpour wax melt. They're still going to get the winter's wax soap and my little hot cocoa packet. There's a cocoa and a candy cane in there. I am going to put in this, but try to cover that up a little bit so you don't see all the info. There we go. Kind of 
I'm alone now. Stickers gonna go in the bottom of this one. I need to write my little tie. I'm almost out of my oh my word. Anyway, almost out of my ribbon, and I still have about 40-some to go. I get these big rolls from Paper Mart, and they hardly cost me anything. These are my little paper trash. And they hardly cost me anything. And we went to Michael's last night, and my word, it was like $5 for 10 yards. I think I get this for like $4, and it's 100 yards, so, ugh. But... I had two full rolls and I thought I was prepared, but just so happens that I was not prepared enough. But I'll go ahead and get some more ordered. Okay, this one is going a bit painfully because it's a little bit, a little bit short. Doo -doo -doo. Oh. We'll call that good. It's still cute. Need to sharpen my scissors again. Getting a little bit. They're getting a little tired at this point. And then I have. I guess that's the last of this sheet. Yep. So I'm going to tuck the little tag like so. And even though this is going in a padded mailer, I like to give it a little extra protection. Looks like it can go a little bit more, like so. A little extra bubble wrap, a little extra shred, a little extra tape. It's all worth it so that a package gets there safely. We reduce the likelihood of disappointment. I don't want to have to deal with a claim. So let's just do it right the first time, right? I'm definitely not just a throw your package in a box with some peanuts type of person, your order. I worked at... We used to be mailboxes, etc. I work there in Florida and in Kansas. And um, they're the UPS store now. But I learned a lot. I worked for two really good men. I worked for a man named Brett in Florida. And I worked for a man named Tim in uh, Kansas. And they both taught us that you just you package it right. You do it right the first time. And then the claims, you just don't have to deal with it as much. Alright, so... That one's good to go. Now, I do have these most epic of lights. They're so fun. They're cafe lights. And they flash. And you can change them to be pretty much whatever color you want. So that's really fun. I have smoke alarm up there that's monitored for safety. And then I have a couple of closets here. Like I said, this was an attic apartment. And I have the lights on already. So this is the cabinet. If you're in my Facebook group, I was cleaning out recently. This was just all boxes stacked up all willy-nilly. It was very confusing. And so we brought in this shelf. And I've done some organizing. So that's nice. I've conked my head about... Eh, we won't even tell you how many times on that silly bar. It's supposed to come out, but it's one of those things that hasn't gotten done yet. I have all my shred. This is where I keep my shred. I keep it on top of another tub so that I have easy access to it. I have this cute 
little cart has my tape gun and everything. And then these are my samples. I have my hot cocoa and candy cane gift little thing. I have my soaps and I have some wax melts and such that I'm sending out with the orders. This is all I have left. We've had several of these containers worth of all these little uh, gifts and they're getting getting slim now. So this is my window and the air conditioner that makes all the noise but gotta have it. The one problem with this room is that it's the temperature control is not very good so I kind of struggle with heating and cooling like it's 61 in here this morning so but I was running the air conditioner yesterday so go figure so heating cooling um, humidity is all kind of a problem these are just all my picture props that I keep set right there so um, they're not just uh, knickknacks or anything those are actually my things I use to take pictures this is my dormer that I do take the pictures in. I usually set up either on one side or the other and I wait until the lights coming in that the the way I like it and I get my pictures done. So I have another cabinet or a closet here. And I just keep my odds and ends in here like you can see on the wall we still need to do some finished work. But I just keep odds and ends in here packaging, my um, big shot, my cameo, stuff like that. It's all just hanging out in here. Then this is my desk. This little door here is access to the rest of the attic. So whenever anybody actually needs in the rest of the attic, we have to move my table and I have to crawl through this little door. It's just the most ridiculous thing. But anyway, this is my desk where I do all my video editing and all my labels and all that. So I have this new little light thing, which I'm absolutely loving. I think it's beyond wonderful. There's my printer that's, whew, that guy's been struggling to make it through this season, but we're inching him along. So that's pretty much it. I don't really think there's much more to show you at this point. I used to have a TV on the wall, but... I uh, decided that the TV just didn't really work with how I work, so we got rid of the television. It's it's crooked because we had to put it on the stud, and anyway, you know. So there you have it. There's my little tour. It's nothing too terribly exciting, but I absolutely love this room. And if you're talking to me, I'm probably in here. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>